TM is a another streamer from Kazakhstan. She seems very nice, very pleasant person. And we're gonna start with a Dutch. And I'm always happy to get a Dutch off the ground. So I'm gonna try to get my normal attack, which is the queen coming over here. This is this is a, a better setup. It kind of puts a, makes this attack a little bit hard. So now generally I, I often change to try and do something in the center. And the knight is pretty well placed on c7 in these positions. So do we go there now? I think so. And I think I'm going to go e4, closing that bishop off. And I want to try to play this move. And I'm kind of happy. Maybe I should have played bishop e6 first. But I'm happy to have built up such a strong center here. This is uh, this is all right. Hopefully my sound is okay. I haven't checked that. Catching a stream says too's uh, too difficult name to pronounce. First time chatter. Okay, so can I just take this pawn now? Is the question. Well, why why the hell not? Let's take it. I suppose it does allow my opponent to try to break out with this move and get the good bishop, but. I might as well grab the pawn and try to get my bishop somewhere like here would be pretty good. I, I, okay, now I'm not too worried about this because my bishop can get to this central square now, which I think is a very nice square because it guards my pawns. But also I'm, I, I, I'm more worried about that bishop coming into play. So I want to stop that bishop coming into play. I want to I want to stop it getting any freedom and this kind of guards that way okay so my opponent trying to make some exchanges but no real threats yet but how do i improve this position can i try to put a knight on this square that looks vaguely interesting so let's guard this square so that a knight can try to get there and i'm just trying to take control of the center the queen side um and all those bits and bobs so let's let's try to get that knight there that that seems like a very nice square for my knight okay now my opponent putting pressure on here makes some sense but knight here takes uh takes this okay let's 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 continue with our plan i think we can quite a weird position isn't it but i do have the extra pawn Actually, that was that a good move? I didn't really calculate that very well because knight takes d5 might might be playable. Knight takes d5, and I think I'm okay because this one I'm very happy because okay, there is an exchange there which I totally missed. Still waking up, guys. Okay, that was a little bit silly because I haven't really calculated this one. But I feel I should be all right somehow here. Here. Uh, but I did miss that. That was a little bit silly of me. I could even sack my queen here. I love sacking queens, but I don't need to do that quite yet. Then bishop takes here. Okay, I think I got very good compensation because my knight's so good. But I didn't I didn't need to do that. That was That was very silly of me. Why, why, why did I need to give my opponent those chances? Can I now play here? Well, queen b4 is annoying, which I've only just seen. So I, I've kind of messed this up. That is for sure. But I think I'm still doing okay because I've got a pawn for the exchange. I'm threatening knight c3 and I got a tremendous center, but there was no reason to sacrifice. There's no reason to sacrifice when you have a good position anyway. It doesn't make any sense to play uh, that way. And I'm just going to try to now put my queen what might be a more good square. I'm still liking my pawn structure. I still think I've got a nice position. Should my opponent sacrifice back? Well, I think that pawn could be weak. Okay, let's not allow anything to happen over there. And this bishop is very bad. Is it going to try to get back around? I mean, it might try to get over here eventually. But in the meantime, I can try to start an attack on my opponent's king. So 
hence the queen exchange and even exchanging queens here I, I feel I should be okay but I don't necessarily want to exchange queens so let's get this one on the board is there is there something weird happening here I don't think so uh, I've got to maybe I can put my rook behind that pawn am I worried about this something happening here eventually well what about my knight now comes around now should be the chance where my opponent can take here because if I get a knight there I'm guarding everything very nicely but this position should be okay for me I think my knights are very good I think black is I think I'm still better here funnily enough um yeah good move from my opponent I think I think she had to play this in this position because otherwise things would have been very bad for her so I think this is the right decision I've got to watch out for the diagonal got to be very careful here no tactics with this one at the moment but again this is if I go knight here this is a horrible move what about the other knight coming to that square I'm hoping I'm not missing any tactics the rook comes here I take the queens off my knight comes back to try to block up the rooks and my other knight comes here and I hope I have some kind of fortress with my knights and my king I hope can now come towards a nice central square and still not easy is it funnily funny position this one. Oh my god my clock okay how do we win this one how do we win this position got to get my rook in it's bloody pawn over here there's an opponent playing excellent chess here fuck I blundered why am I playing so badly oh no we don't want to draw I have to take this if we want to win but this is very risky take the pawn and I'm losing fuck but I had to do this to have some chances to win I'm losing here badly playing horrible chess guys Okay. <sighs> what a position, eh? <laughs> Desperately trying to find some way to use my knights. Over here. Jesus, Simon. <laughs> what? Oh, dear, can't do that either. opponent defending well I need to get my other knight in to try win this one I'm not doing anything here am I should I just get agree a draw Can I do that? No, I'll lose if I do that. I need to get my knight to attack this pawn. This is what I'm trying to do, but I can't get it in in any situation. Ah. Oh. 
Ah. Oh. oh, that was a bad game. That was a bad game for me. I, I just um, let it slip there at the end. Wake up a little bit. Three, three wins, and uh, that was not a good. That was not good. I just. Um, uh, my opponent played ex excellently at the end of the game where I, I did not play excellently I played very badly I'm definitely losing around here so I'm kind of lucky kind of lucky to be to be winning uh, to be drawing that but let's have a look I just let it totally slip around this point so this should be should be a brilliant position and moving uh, moving my king in makes a lot of sense but the problem I have is activating this rook maybe I need to okay this this must be the correct move to play and now what should my plan be if i go here then there's a check it's not as easy as it looks this can't be bad bringing the king in and now if i ever move the rook this pawn drops so that's not simple should i be trying to do something over here that makes a lot of sense but my opponent might just take this pawn i, I don't know I don't know if that does. Maybe I should be playing g5. It's very, very hard to win this. A lot harder than I thought, actually, um, considering the position I had. Um, <laughs> those knights at the end there, they were quite, they were quite funny, weren't they? 110 moves to start us off. Great, brilliant. Just what we want. A nice long grind. Anyway, we have to get a good run going now, um, and. Let's just see what else I did wrong. So I, I mean, okay. Well, we're in with the next game. Let's just let's just try to let's just try to get. We still want to get those three wins in a row. So we will start now. We're warmed up. We've had our. We're having our energy drink, kind of whatever drink it is. So let's let's see if we can kick off with a win. At least I didn't crumble and lose. That is that is a good point. I'm I'm very good at losing those kind of positions, and I should have been losing. My opponent my opponent played the end part of the game extremely well so we're going to come in with a trompovsky and um 10 and a half out of 11 is acceptable for <laughs> tech that's right okay this is quite a passive move I, i'm not too worried about this so now i've got a very nice center and i will just develop my pieces in a very nice way and i, I love this diagonal and i've got a very good french now surely this is a very nice French. It should be a French where I'm a couple of tempo up. Now, normally I would be thinking about what to do about this and I'm gonna meet this move now with C3. I wanna put my knight there, but I wanna keep things all under control over here. Now, do I castle? I don't think so. I'm just gonna stop anything coming here. And this position, I quite like. My opponent's trying to close it down, but I'm always gonna have some targets to attack over here. And this is actually a very common idea to start annoying those kingside pawns. My opponent does have a bit of play over here and my knights don't have any great squares. This is a very... Um, okay, I, I could now open it up or I could prepare to play this move. Which one do we do? Well, I think I'm gonna play around that one and I still have this break of G4. So that will be the pawn break that I'm hoping will open things up greatly for me. But let's first of all, improve my pieces as much as I can over on the king side and also prepare this move. Now, is it time to play it? The queen can come here, which is a little bit annoying. Do we put the knight in first? Okay, g4, queen here. Takes, takes. Is that anything? This queen coming here is annoying, I have to admit. Okay, let's bring this one out first so my knight is defended. And then g4 is becoming a bit stronger. My opponent, if he castles, he might be alright. So I need to strike with this break now. And this hopefully liberates a lot of my pieces. But my opponent... Okay, is now trying to swap off queens. I don't mind the exchange of queens. I still have a lot of pressure here. This is still a very nice position. Uh, my pieces are looking great. My knights are good. Um, I can try to get another rook over to this square and I have a clear target, which is g7. 
So I think I can keep my king in the middle. Now they've been exchanged. This is defended. So, so far, okay. But we, my opponent is, is defending bravely. Now, I want to do this. Do I? Okay, I don't really want to swap off the light square bishops because my light square bishop is good. But I do have the one main idea now of just hitting another weak point, which I'm not sure how my opponent is going to defend. So I think I'm crashing through now at the moment. And if my knight can dive in here, I can try to... Well, okay, let's win that one. And that is a very important pawn because I've got this monster of an e-pawn coming through. Um, let's just try to use these guys as much as possible. Actually, rook g6 was quite interesting. But we can keep a lot of ideas alive. Like, for example, I can even try to win this pawn. Let's, let, that looks good. Any counterplay that my opponent can get? No, I'm... I think I'm, if I win this one, wow, this looks this looks great, doesn't it? Chopper saying clean game. That would make a nice change, wouldn't it? It might actually be a cleanish game. Oh, I'm tempting fate now far too much by saying stuff like that. I didn't really want to allow my opponent to get any activity with the rook. But it's only one rook, and my opponent's king is now shut off. And I've got two... I mean, come on, if I don't win this, if I don't win this, I'm going to have to crack open the whiskey. Gonna have to crack open the bottle of... Ah, oh, there we go. My opponent doesn't want me to get on the whiskey, so he resigns. Um, opponent is 79 years old, is he? Oh, that's really impressive. 79 years old? Are you are you having a are you having a giraffe? Crack it open anyway. <laughs> I'm I'm actually I'm still trying to get back to full health, so I, I, I'm I'm having a little break from alcohol for. Uh, you know, well, I say three or four days and not drinking much. Maybe in the evening I have a little glass, but you know, we'll see. Um, Kraken whiskey. I'm not a big Kraken whiskey fan. I prefer my whiskey to be Scottish and flavoursome, maybe a bit smoky. Um, so let's have a look how old he is. Is he really 79? That's so impressive if he's playing at, at the age of 79. So here he is, FM Asa Hoffman. And I don't know, you can't you can't look at their date of birth here, but just to just to be playing, you know, competitive chess against title players, I think is really impressive at that age, right? I mean uh, if I'm still if I'm still alive at 79, I'll be pretty happy. But if I'm playing chess and I can still move the mouse at 79, yeah, I'll be I'll be, I'll be doing well, man. I'll be doing well, I'll be happy. Okay, anyway, let's wait for the next one. They are 79. Look up their fee date. Look, well, I'm, I don't have time to start looking up fee day ratings. I mean, you know, I've got to try to move pieces. I'm not doing that, but he's 79. Good stuff. Yeah, whiskey wise, Glen Morangi is a very nice whiskey. Um, I, was, I, I keep getting these adverts for invest in whiskey. Has anyone ever tried that? Investing in whiskey. They keep saying, oh, you know, a £5,000 investment 20 years ago would have given you a million pounds. Hmm, not sure about that. But I love the idea, like, you know, I don't really have any money to invest, but if you, if it did, I mean, I wouldn't really, you know, I'd rather invest in whiskey than leaving it in the bank, right? It just sounds much better having a barrel of whiskey. Because then if you, you know, if you've got a barrel of whiskey, I don't think you can actually access this whiskey easily, but if things do go wrong, you can just get the barrel of whiskey and have a damn good week, weekend, day, getting through the barrel. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. No one's tried it, no? No one's tried the investment? No? Don't think I'll bother. I'll just, I'll just stick to... I'll just liquefy... I like it. Liquefy your assets. I think I'll just stick to drinking it, right? That that sounds much more fun. Occasionally. But I, I don't drink much whiskey. I only have, only have a little, like, uh, a little glass occasionally. No, you know, because I can't be dealing with whiskey hangovers. Um... Or hangovers in general anymore. I remember, I remember doing, when I first started streaming. Like I don't know, was it like ten years ago? But I remember doing 
I remember it, it must have been like 10 years ago and I remember I drank so much whiskey while I was streaming I was so oh it was so bad so bad on the rocks coke I don't I don't I don't see anything wrong with mixing whiskey with coke if that's what you want to do but I prefer it just with a little bit of ice it's great how this has turned into a whiskey whiskey uh whiskey chat seems like a lot of people like the kraken is, is kraken whiskey or rum um cheap whiskey i always used to drink very cheap whiskey to be honest there was a english groundmaster i know and whenever i went to chess tournaments when i was quite young let's say 18 to 25 he'd always have his bottle of whiskey in his room uh, and often we would, uh, you know, look at a bit of chess in his room, and he, that that bottle of whiskey never lasted a long time. I tell you, it's a rum. I don't like rum. Can't be dealing with rum. Uh, I don't know why. Don't ask me. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. I think I can guess. With hello, Loz. How are you doing, Loz? Are you doing well, Loz? How how, how was uh, how did you enjoy Oster in the end? I, I guess you know which grandmaster it was. Yeah, <laughs> I won't say but he always has his bottle of whiskey every every chess tournament i go to he's always got at least a bottle of whiskey in his room which he likes you know after a hard day of chess you know it, it, it kind of makes some sense right that could be the one loss yes that is yeah definitely um okay uh melkor saying he lives in southeast asia for the last i mean it's probably very very expensive importing whiskey to southeast asia right i would imagine definitely very expensive i feel like i should change the topic away from whiskey and back to chess or something but i don't really want to what is everyone's favorite drink anyway i'm actually enjoying now uh i love i love okay this is my routine i love like proper coffee in the morning so i've now got one of those pushy things and i've got a hand grinder so i can grind my own coffee I, there's something about grinding your own coffee which like the smell is quite it's quite therapeutic okay we're playing a good player here grandmaster so that's how i start the day coffee and then tea later on in the day um so we're playing from azerbaijan a grandmaster what should we do here should we play um let's go for i've spent eight seconds i don't know what I'm, i don't really know what to do against this move sometimes let's go for the dragon because it's a lot of fun even if it's not particularly great the dragon now will my opponent show that he's not scared and go for the main line he does and i'm gonna play some old suspicious dragon lines this move is really quite dubious it probably loses but it can be quite fun <laughs> with sacrifices like this coming up now this is a very risky move but i have had some success with this b5 stuff now if my opponent knows what he's doing i think this is actually quite dubious but it's really interesting where we're both trying to open up lines towards the king and i have to say it's very scary of my you know with my opponent having this but what do we do now and i think we continue by having to sacrifice here right and this is an old old line uh, i remember that international master chris duncan no no he's not an international master he's a strong player he used to play this and he had some great victories against john nunn but it was found that white is doing quite well if white knows what he's doing and it gets really messy extremely extremely complicated and that's the good thing about the dragon you always have a fun game and this is the point that you try and bring the knight into this square to uh cause some havoc and it's a complete mess three pawns for the piece and if my opponent takes here e6 i believe is the best try but again like i mentioned i i, I had a game against one of kasparov's seconds sakis okay now this move i don't know 
but it makes sense to play here anyway probably because I might have some ideas like this and I might be able to sacrifice my knight here but I'm I'm on my own now shall we say okay now do we keep playing here or does this one work well then then the knight comes here do I push this one away? How do we play this position, guys? Queen come out, rook come over. I think I'm going to play this slow move. Really complex position. Um, I don't know. This seems a little bit slow, but I couldn't see anything... I couldn't see anything else that was notable. Now there is one move that I thought maybe the bishop going there was a bit scary. Probably have to exchange this guy off now. And I want to play my queen in. But can I also play this move? Very complicated position. Queen over here, a3. How do I break that knight down? It's really complicated, this. Um, anything else that's come into mind here? Either the queen comes in, but after a3, what do I play? So I'm gonna play this just so I can open up my rook. But now I need to uh, think how I'm going to get more guys into the attack. This one. And try to bring the other rook over. It's maybe worth a try. But I've got to be here. I've probably... Oh, God. I've probably just got to go for it, right? Stuff like this on the car. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like worried about. Qu okay, so now I guess we got to just go for it. Every tempo counts. And yeah, do I have to take this one, my king? I'm feeling like this is not working, but I've still got some pressure. I am threatening this followed by checkmate. So I do have the first threat. Now here, or here, this kind of sh stuff, but it's got good defensive pieces. I've got to get rid of this knight. Okay, what about this? potential move maybe he can just take here yeah I can't move my bishop ah uh, that was annoying flip okay yeah I, I, I'm gonna have a look at this afterwards because very interesting game but I'm clearly struggling now because Well, I think I'm just losing now. It's one of those games where you have to keep the tension up so much. And I, I'm going to get mated, aren't I, here? Nothing else to be done. <sighs> Only move I can see. Oh dear. And the end is there. I'll let him make me. That was annoying because I feel like those kind of positions I, I should be doing all right in. Let's have a look at that one. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? That was, I, I must have missed a chance there somewhere. The Queen C4 was a really bad move. Uh, it was too slow. I must have missed some tactics tactic there. Uh, when I played my Queen in, that was far too slow. I should have sacrificed something. 
my opponent played well, but what did I miss? I'm just trying to work out in my head. I mean, there must have been something better. A bit of a dodgy start then this this week. That was a disappointing loss because, I mean, I'm, where was the move? But very, very hard to work out what to play. Come on. Sort out the... Uh, this is not working very well. Okay, let's see if we can get it working. It doesn't... It can't analyze this game. It's too complex for it, which is annoying. And it's not doing a very good job, chess.com, at the moment. Okay, so it does... Okay, let's have a look at this. If, if review's not working, which it's not, I can maybe refresh it. Let's see. But uh, are you going to work now? Okay, this seems to be working a bit better now. I kind of feel that I must have missed something there. But maybe not. Look, my opponent played very, very well. There's only one chance here in the whole game where I missed something. Knight C3 check. It's so easy when you look at it afterwards. It's so easy. I, I haven't even seen their move, but now I'm looking at it with fresh eyes. I just see my knight can go there. And I'm just like, why didn't I see this originally? This is clearly the right move to play. And it says I'm losing here. <laughs> okay. It looks right. This is open up his king. Let's have a look. Here, here, bishop here. Is this really still rubbish? Well, I guess so. Okay, so mate, what is the move to play after knight b4? Would it oh I take here first and then I play queen here? Okay. That looks it looks so natural to put the, that there, but maybe not. I don't know, is something like this working? Let's just check. Let's just check these funny moves. Um, and he, okay, so he, he goes queen g1 here. This is quite weird. It says it's a blunder, but look, it's not so convinced. Let's have a look. So if it takes it and goes here, it looks so dangerous for my opponent now, with my queen coming in here, but maybe it's not. This knight does a good job. So what you need to do after knight takes here, I was thinking about this move, but this one here, stops everything or, or something going there so what i need to do is take here first and then play here with the dual threat and i should be seeing moves like that when we get this kind of position which is just very 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 unclear because my king is now weak but i didn't really get many other chances after that funnily enough i didn't get many chances look after this move i didn't miss many things and my opponent played enough to defend. I thought I might have something here, but bishop takes b2. Well, I don't think that's going to work. The computer suggestion. It looks a little bit dodgy. Maybe, um, maybe king f8 is better, says sledgehammer. You're right. Maybe that's a good point. So let's have a look. I've got a lot of pieces attacking. Maybe I should play king f8 here. Maybe this is the best move. Still, Still completely losing, isn't it? It's still completely losing here. So the problem is Queen H4 is coming. So this is this is what happens when you play these really sharp variations. Sometimes you can win very beautiful games. But if your opponent plays well, which which my opponent clear okay, we've got another game here. Let's let's try E4, which my opponent clearly did then. You can lose horribly, and it's so hard to calculate things out. So I, 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 I probably won't try the dragon again. It's a lot of fun, but it's very hard to make it work. So we need now to, we're on one and a half out of three. We need to win the next game, definitely this game, should I say. And I'm playing, I've done a chessable course on this, which um, I'm very happy with. You, you, This is a bit like, remember when I played the, the, the person in, in round round one um i got this with the dutch the other way around so it's um do i come this way or this way probably this way i think i should be trying to hit hit this pawn i quite like this kind of setup you might have some chances with the pawn here to attack it's it's quite interesting now is there anything like this i have to worry about i don't think so maybe i can oh no because then pawn takes pawn is actually a bit annoying let's get my king off that diagonal it looks like that diagonal could could annoy me at some point I'm very tempted to bring the knight back now but that looks crazy okay what about if I go here and then try to bring the knight back to this square because my opponent has committed 
put his queen on a target square and played this move, which means b5 is going to be very hard for my opponent to ever play. So positionally speaking, if I can bring my knight back there, it's going to be a great square. My opponent closing it down, but I do have g4 later on. So let's let's bring that knight now to that square. And my one break that hopefully will do some stuff is going to be that. And my opponent is doing the same playing for this one. So rook g1 now, or do we play it a little bit slower? Let's, let's play the queen over. Maybe I have h4 stop this move and this pawn could be weak as well so i might start targeting that i have now seen my opponent's got a good move here um which i would have stopped had i had i seen it and that i was more worried about the knight coming to that square trying to get rid of my strong knight this one i'm not so worried about let's just put a little bit of pressure on that and i'm very again very happy my opponent's taken that i'm not even worried about this exchange um, and the problem my opponent has here is that he can't easily get a knight to this square. If my opponent has a knight here, his position would be very nice, but he can't get it there. So just playing normal developing moves. And now, even though my pawn structure looks a bit ugly, they control all the squares. You can't get a knight, my opponent, to any of these squares. So I got actually very good control. And this is a wild move. Okay, this might actually be a very good move for my opponent. I should have probably played h4 to stop this because this will give a lot of play. And I don't really want to close things down over there. So a little bit silly to... Okay, I'm a little bit annoyed about that. I should have played h4. I could have stopped this one because now it's becoming very closed. Where does my knight want to go? Here, so it needs to go here. It needs to go here. So it has to go this route in the long run. So this is the best way to go. And I want to put my bishop here, I think, as well. Do we do that now? Let's 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 at least have this up my sleeve and h3. But first of all, let's continue with my knight maneuver. I like my knight coming here. This is the best square for my knight. And if I didn't have my double pawns, this one would be very annoying. So in, in, in we go with the knight. Let's get it into the position. Um, and good move for my opponent. Trying to swap off knights. Do I exchange or do I come back with the knight? I might come back still like my position a lot my bishop my bishop is very good if i can get rid of this annoyance which rook if i can get rid of this annoyance on the open file i'll be doing very well but my opponent getting ready to bring everything in that way now where is that rook going actually yes you have a check but my king can move have you lost oh, the time i've got to be careful of my clock here i'm so such such a slow play and actually this kind of move is oh, he's found it as well very annoying i obviously moved the wrong rook in always the way isn't it okay now this was my idea so i'm hope oh god what have i done could have gone bishop takes bishop. I would have been completely lost because my 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 queen was in a pin this way. Well, I feel that it should be winning. Ah, oh, the ending is obviously fantastic for me. This pawn should be a, should be a, a winner, chicken dinner. But I really I let that one slip there. I mean, uh, I really a bit slack play there uh i my opponent missed that opportunity as soon as i played it actually just my bishop takes pawn was just a bluff it wasn't working but this is a it's going to put me in a plus score i i don't think there's any danger here to my king it can it can stay here i mean my opponent's far too slow my b pawn is just just winning the game so 
Ooh. I didn't well it wasn't really a bluff, but I just did I just missed it. But it worked out alright. We'll throw a check in first because um there's no way this knight can be stopped. There's no stalemates. Nope, my opponent has two squares for the king. So nothing to worry about there. Okay, we'll take that one. Why not? I don't even want a queen yet. I want to keep my rook. And my opponent is playing on for some unknown reason. But good luck with that, son. I don't know why you're playing on. Obviously a glutton for punishment. Okay. Um... Now, uh, da, 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 um, what are we on? We're on two and a half out of four. So we had that one, we had that first game, which we probably should have won. And then we had the uh, the second game, the second, the game in the dragon, which I lost, which was really quite crazy. But my opponent played very well there. So I can't really complain about the game so far. I should probably be, you know, I'm, I'm still on plus score. There's always a break after round four. So we can have a look at uh, the top scores. But just to show you where, where I blundered in that game, and I, I realized it as soon as I played it, it seemed to be going okay, but I lost a bit of control again. Very easy to lose control. Like this position should be very nice to me as long as I just be a bit careful with these. And I think what I need to do is actually just move this rook here. I think my other rook should stay around my king. This is probably still all right, but in actual fact, even though this does win the exchange, I think this is a mistake. My opponent's only idea is to go queen here, then I don't even know what he's doing next. None of his minor pieces are any good. If you look at my minor pieces, fantastic bishop, and my knight always has this. So I just need to slowly control these rooks and don't try to win the exchange. So actually, some move like queen e2 is the right way to play. And I can patiently, even just try to bring my king in, there's nothing my opponent can do here. He has no way to do anything. Just don't allow this in. So my first mistake on move 30, I think was actually winning this one because it allowed my opponent's queen to come in here, which I originally missed. Uh, I can't really block it now. I should have moved the bishop back and repeated, but this is a great move. And funnily enough, I actually think as my bishop is so bad my opponent has enough compensation here um i don't know why he didn't take did he take that pawn he should have taken that pawn no he came back oh if he takes this pawn then i go here and this is actually winning another exchange winning the game so he can't do that so i'm probably still doing all right here but look at the blunder i made the blunder i made was horrendous I took here and as soon as I played it, I'm like, oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? Because he can just, instead of moving the queen, the whole point is I attack his queen. Instead of moving his queen, you can just take it. And I'm like, oh God, you idiot, you idiot. And my best chance is to take that bishop. So I got a pass pawn. Does he have anything clever here? Well, this position should be winning for him, but it's not completely over because I can cause a little bit of problems with this pawn, but I don't, I think it should be losing, should be losing this position. But obviously the way the game went, he missed his one chance and uh, it was looking all right. So we have four rounds and we go back and look at the scores now, see who's leading the tournament. Um, and very strong this time round. Uh, let's just pull this down. We're only on two and a half, but there's still a bit of time to to try and try and get a good score. Like seven and a half was a good score. What if queen takes e1? I think that's the same same kind of thing. And he played that. So uh, yeah, this guy a blitz specialist, really good player. You got Vincent Kmar. I'm sure most of you know who Vincent is. He's just been playing in the Champions Tour extremely strong player from Germany um, lots of strong names here and if we roll down a little bit Hikaru yeah on, on Maximum uh, Duboff has dropped half a point 
and this is the guy I lost to. He's on three and a half, obviously a very strong player. Ali Razor has lost the game. Ferruja has lost the game somewhere. Don't know who he lost to. Um, there we go. Let's wait. Well, the next game shouldn't be too long. Is there any games going on? No games going on. What they actually do now, they actually check after round four and round eight. And I always say, I always personally say that, you know, title Tuesday, 11 rounds, you have the first four rounds, then you have the rounds five to eight, and then rounds nine to 11. So you've always got to score very well in one of those segments. Two and a half out of four, very average. So I need to, if I want to have a really good tournament, get like three, three and a half out of four in the next bit. Three out of four would be good, but three and a half out of four is what I should aim for in the next bit. Um, but what they do now, they check for cheaters. And a, a lot of you have probably been following the Hans Neiman, Magnus cheating stuff. Oh, I don't know. The drama, I have to be honest, the drama bores me somewhat. <laughs> and I, you know, there's loads of sides to it. Oh, you know, But it was amazing, the report, saying how many title players had cheated in this event. And, and my best guess is that something like um i don't know I, this is a guess like maybe 200 people 200 people have cheated in title tuesday before that's what i reckon and they're title players so it's crazy how many title players cheat in 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 events like this i just don't understand it title tuesday is every week now um great event that chess.com do really good event um deadshot asking when will i return to the commentary um, well, I, I'm not going to go over to Norway this time around. I've got a bit too much to do here. It's nice to have one tournament away and I've had COVID, so I couldn't really have taken part and I, I wasn't going to go over to Norway anyway. The last one is in November, so I might be there. But I'm actually now, I've agreed. I don't know why I've agreed, but I've agreed because it's actually nice and a bit of free time. But I've agreed to commentate this Thursday and Friday on the final of the uh, um, Chess 24 Champions Tour, but not on the main show, on the GM one. So if you want to watch my commentary, I'll be on, is it Chess 24 GM channel or something like that? Uh, and me and Danny King, and I love doing it with Danny King. He, Danny King is an English gentleman, uh, really, really easy to work with, and we have a bit of a laugh. So, um, so I'll be commentating this Thursday and Friday on the chess 24 gm on the final of the champions tour so i'm doing i'm doing a couple of days work they've got me back working again already <laughs> that'll be me two englishmen it's all england the Engl english people are taking over aren't they in in the studio in oslo and, and yeah and um yeah me me and uh me and uh danny king will be enjoying a bit of commentary there just don't forget the name of the tournament this time says Quinn that was quite embarrassing if you don't know what Quinn is talking about I was over you know this the studio um, show they do over in Norway with David Howe Ivanka and Kaya is really professional it's like in a TV studio I actually get really nervous I, I don't necessarily always enjoy it because my nerves I, I don't you know I, you're in a hot studio I don't like the heat the lights are on you you don't get a break it's like you have to wear smart clothes I'm not really into wearing a suit and stuff uh, and it's a bit of pressure yeah but one of the things was I think it was like round three or four of the last event and um, uh, we've got another this is this is gonna be a tough game and, and I basically at some point I'm just like what what tournament is this I didn't even know the name of the tournament <laughs> so that was quite embarrassing okay now let's flick in a tromposki this is a really important game with the white pieces and i'm gonna play a line which i've had a lot of success with we know what's coming up next saying your praises for harry harry aldo i'm really not that worried don't worry <laughs> i'm not worried if i forget the name of it doesn't bother me too much but Okay, can we just mate him? If he takes here, oh, I mean, this looks so dangerous. What about this move? And check. He can't. He can't play this. My queen could come in. What is this? This is looking so dangerous. Okay, let's start with this. 
I mean, if I take take check rook f7, so now I want to take here. He takes my queen comes here. He takes here. So so close. Takes. He takes my bishop. This will be checkmate if I can do something clever there. Can't see it, guys. Might have to just retreat my bishop. Takes. Takes queen h5. Takes. Can't see it. Okay, I can't see the win. It's blitz. I'm not fast enough. But this should still be fantastic, correct? Let's just develop the knight. And bring the queen over. But maybe I had something stronger there. We'll have a look at it afterwards. My opponent defending. But I've still got a lot of pieces attacking him. He doesn't really care, this guy, does he? Okay, I don't want to get short of time because I might need my time. And he really doesn't care. He's just playing so quickly. Now, how do we increase things up over here? Well, I'm going to double rooks towards his king. And I'm going to try to come in and just kill the guy somehow. I can't see how he can get counterplay against me. Hello, Aldo, by the way. This one kind of messes, but there should be. This queen is very good. Do I get the knight back? This knight's not doing good. Do I try to reroute this one to d3? Very slow. What else do we have here? Queen coming in. Does that help? Not really. My knight seems good. This knight seems to want to maneuver. But how do we maneuver? Okay, let's bring it here. My opponent's playing nothing moves. Okay, and now I'm going to move my knight to this square. So it's, he's managed to defend this one, unfortunately. And it's got a bit more positional now, okay? Which is, uh, which is unfortunate. And he's very quick, isn't he? Just like me, not. And it's got more positional now. But I still have very promising position. This piece is terrible, though. It's coming back. Uh, okay, I'm going to go here to stop any... Oh, maybe I should... I need to get my bishop in the game. Okay, he wants to come in. I see what he's trying to do. I feel like I've not made the best of this, annoyingly. My queen... How do I get this bloody bishop in the game? No, I'm going to go b3. I didn't want to put the pawn there. Okay, same thing. I want to get my bishop back around. This is why I played this kind of anti-positional move. It's very quick though, this guy. I don't think he played very good moves earlier on. And I, I should have maybe spent more time, but... can have that pawn I'm still going for his king but I'm, I'm slowing down because it's not certainly as good as it was this but it's still pretty damn good this is a really risky move because my king also opens up but I want to get lined up against him now he should probably Still, my pieces look very good to me. They still look very good. Okay. Stop his knight coming around here. Don't want to drop that pawn. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but who knows. Pawn looks all right at the moment. Okay. Now, let's line up a check with my pawn. I want to go here, but then he goes here. Can we play this anyway? Why not? Let's do it anyway. Okay, doke. Let's get all the way back. And keep centralization. And are we just taking this one or are we pushing if he takes over here? Which one do we do? Do we take the pawn or do we push? 
think we take, right? Because then we have this square for our knight, which is probably more important. We want to get rid of this pawn here. And again, my position to me looks good at the moment. Okay, we're obviously taking that. And we're going to come back and try... Anything to worry about here? Oh, he's got this. I don't know, I didn't really want to swap queens. So I've shut up now because <laughs> calculating is hard enough without without me. If I, if I don't win this, I'll be extremely upset. So check unfortunately oh man nah. why am I swapping queens there crazy this is also bad playing some shocking moves doing what am I doing to this why am I playing this like trying to lose Simon oh man look at this what am I done what have I done guys I've done this so badly so badly Simon Get very annoyed with myself sometimes and this is a uh, one such case can I still draw this it should still be a draw maybe but I don't know it should be a draw but I can get flagged here easily and lose King in the center. Trying to keep my knight and king close by so they don't get in the way of each other. Had some weird ass endings today, right? Don't ask me about these endings, it's so strange. I thought I lost my knight there. Keep my knight close to my king. Got to remember my own advice. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my words. It was a draw in the end. 133 moves. What's, what is happening to me today? And we're straight in with another game. Give us a break. I need a break after that one. Oh, God. I can't play 100 moves. I'm not David Howe. David Howe is the only player who can play that many moves. I'm going to play... I'm going to play the modern now. Oh, my, I forgot how tiring is chess. And remember, I needed to get three and a half out of four. So I need to try and win this one, uh, if possible. I'm just going to play the hippo because because I'm lazy uh, after that game. But I must have been winning out the opening, right? I must have been winning out of that opening. Surely, surely I had a very nice opening there. Um, and we're straight in against another tough player so we're playing the hippo which i have done a chessable course on and it's quite good against young aggressive players sometimes because um uh this is this is a, a good plan now i could go here but this is a very interesting sacrifice sometimes oh, that's a bit i mean this is also good okay let's stick with a normal move let's stick with a good normal move and now castling kingside is fine and i probably will do that i wanted to castle queenside and play something a little bit more aggressive now i'm even tempted to take this and i think i will keep it a little bit more open opponent playing very standardish moves um and let's see what happens if i come here now interesting position um, my pawn structure is ruined, but it is an extra pawn. Uh, I have ideas of trying to push with Harry. My knight has some squares. So, hard games today. Really hard games. Oh, okay, hang on a minute. So, if I go here, can I do that? Maybe I should. Why not? What am I missing? I don't know, so let's play it. And... Maybe I should move my rook here or something like this. I don't know. Maybe my knight should come in. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Should my knight now come in? I don't actually want him to exchange queens. So I think I might keep coming forwards here. It's a very weird position. And now this is a big threat. Threatening to win the game. With knight takes bishop and queen takes pawn. Maybe there's also... If he takes here, I'll take with a pawn and we just keep attacking his position. And I don't really want him to swap queens, even though I'm a pawn up. And if he takes my knight, I get this square for my bishop, some dark squares. So it maybe is okay. Okay, so he plays here. Now, is there a tactic? I don't see it, so I'm just going to have to take here. And I want to get rid of this knight, but maybe I should have done that last move. Should have done it last move. Okay, I got this move. This is okay. I've got to get rid of this knight. But then... Okay, let's get rid of this knight. This knight is annoying. But he does get another great square then. So it's still... A very hard position for both of us here. Can I reroute? Then he comes in here. Let's take away that square for now. So we can't have this square for a piece. And I kind of want to bring my knight. I, I mean, I'd love to get a rook here, but he's got some tactics. So I move the king. He takes my rook and takes here. So the other thing I'm thinking of doing is put my queen where my knight is and my knight where my queen is. Okay, so he's going for mass exchanges, which I guess we should allow. Now, have I got I've got everything covered over here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's let's do this maneuver that I, I, I mentioned a second ago of getting my queen in here on the dark square and my knight in on the other dark square. I'd love to get this bishop in as well. So I'd love to get my queen and my bishop in like so. Okay, my knight now has a great square. My pawn has a good square. Do we keep coming forwards? Let's try this. And what about what about this move? 
Oh, it nearly wins. Does it win? Does this win? Takes. I think it wins. I've got knight takes here, g3. Knight takes here, takes here. Knight takes here. Hang on, am I not a piece up there? Or I can just do this, but then g3. Shh, must be winning somehow, guys. Even this move. What about this subtle move? Stopping this g3 idea. I must have had a better move than that. Why am I playing like such a pussy? Now. Here. Is what I'm thinking. But. I don't know. I'm a bit annoyed. I didn't see something a little bit clearer there. There were so many good options. But. Boom. Get in there, son. Get in there. Oh, Queen H4 was checkmating too. <laughs> oh, I missed it. I missed it, guys. I saw one good long. And I I mean, I. the thing is, okay, it, it, it's still winning. Look, of course, that was, you know what? That was quite a good game, apart from missing this queen coming here checkmate. That was, that was really bad. But the thing is, in chess, if you see a win you often especially in blitz chess you don't look you don't look for a, you don't look for another win and i'm obviously in this position my mind is fixated on some knight move with a discovered check so i'm looking at this one but then he goes g3 and i'm thinking this is probably winning right i take here he takes here i take there but i'm not material up there must be something better well i am i'm only a couple of pawns up so then i look at this one double check and this is what my original thought process was, but I got a little bit confused about G3 here. And I think I'm still completely winning here, but because I can just come here. So this is some, I just confused myself. But then the way my brain's working is all these problems involve him going G3. So if I bring a third piece into the attack, it's probably just game over, right? Because I keep the same threats. This one, he can't go g3 because bishop takes. I keep this one. He can't do anything. And when he moves his king here, well, I'm winning. I'm winning the queen or winning a piece here, which is obviously game over. But as a lot of you have pointed out, I didn't even consider this check, which was clearly the best way to win. Uh, but I think I, I think I was almost doing right that game. I think it was all as always okay. I'm quite happy with that game in general because you got the black pieces. I got to play the, the hippo, my last chessboard course, and um, it seemed like everything worked quite well in the hippo. I mean, the guy's good. He's 20, 20 something, isn't he? He's a high, high rated player. And this is like all very typical hippo stuff. And this position, I, I'm I'm at least equal. My knight is very annoying for him. And we got this attack brewing over here. I think this was a very clever idea because I get this square. And all my pieces suddenly tsh, lunge in. He probably has to take my queen, but then I am pawn up. Um, he can take my queen off. I'm a pawn up. The game goes on. Uh, and I think the more that he keeps the queen on the board, this is now very, very, very dangerous for him. But it was still very much hard work. And... Um, this is still probably good for me but this next move is really important c6 this is probably the star move because um if he starts to get control of this square he gets counterplay and this move takes away all that counterplay and he can't really do anything here i've got all my pieces around really pointing towards his king my pieces are gr fantastically placed and if I can get my bishop in, like well, like I did, this idea of moving the knight was very strong. And as soon as I got this, I can play other moves first, why not? As soon as I got this check in, his position starts to crumble. My first thought here was to play bishop g5, try to, try to get that bishop in. But I saw this idea of the check, and I think he's in a lot of trouble. Because if he takes now, this, this piece comes in, this piece comes in. And look at this, I've got every single piece coming right at his king so i think uh 
I think he's probably lost now. He's probably lost. And yeah, I did not see the mate in two. Oh my words. But his position was lost anyway. Is there any? I mean, the mate in the mate in three here. Of course, I should just check him and move my queen over. I can't believe I moved my bishop to that square. That would have been that. That was the only slightly annoying thing, right? That was quite annoying that I I got that wrong. But okay, we're on course. We've got another tough player here. Even if he's just an NM, look at his braiding. We've got double black. We need to win the next two to have a good. Well, like I said, a good middle part of this. So we've got to try to get a good result here. Um, uh, I haven't raged quit quite yet, Alan Hansen. Been close a couple of times. Well, we're gonna have to try. We're gonna have to try this hippo again, aren't we? I think. Um, let's go for the hippo again. Now, the only move I'm a little bit worried about is f4, but this leads to some very exciting positions. Okay, we're gonna get the hippo again. I think people pending what he does here now f4 is still a move i'm a little bit concerned about but i have this move so i think i should prepare this and try to counter attack somehow now if i play the hippo here it's a little bit more risky can we do something like this okay maybe i should have played knight there last week that would make a lot more sense but i'm going to go for e5 whether it's good or bad this one does it scare me a little bit a little bit I'm a little bit scared here I need to get castled hasn't gone the way I wanted it to I've got myself in some opening trouble yet again could be in uh, if I can get one more move in I'm okay but I'm worried about Bishop here I'm worried about him taking here and this move coming in mm. If I take here, he takes and takes here. I don't like this. What have I done? Ah, oh, Bishop. Oh, I fucked it up straight away. Very annoying. Just played this Bishop B7. Didn't get my hippo. And this is a horrendous position. And you can't really come back from these positions against good players, unfortunately. So we'll have to play here. But there's probably a number of moves that are very, very strong here. Uh, and I don't like my position and I'm a pawn down so just that just that little f4 move bad good hippo bad hippo I didn't quite get the hippo in this is more of a perk and when he played f4 I'm just going to go back there I should have really I'm after h3 I should have spent more time thinking here and I should have played like c5 or something but uh, I, I'm not liking this my opponent now is spending a bit of time because he's got a great position this one was a perk because I never really was able to get e6 in. The problem when you're playing with the black pieces, you can get absolutely destroyed. Okay, well he has castle, but this is still very scary. Now I'm gonna have to I don't see any other option except for castling. I mean, I don't like my position, but what else can I do? This move is scaring me. But what else can I play? I mean, there was literally not many other options I could see. I'm going to have to go two pawns down now, but at least I'm not getting mated. There's some cherry, but not much. Not much of a cherry here. Ah, uh, oh, this is horrible. If I take here, I have to take this way because of e7. It's so disgusting. He goes e7 anyway here. Everything is horrible about this. E e7 is just winning now. He didn't really get back in the game there. This is the problem when you get a tough opening. You get a tough opening and you, you just uh, you just you can't get back in. Other moves would have lost as well, but what can I do? So I need to win. Well, I've got. Hang on a minute. I've only got one and a half in this segment. It's a tough tournament, yeah. This, but this game is this game is horrible. So yeah, it's obviously I'm losing here, but I, I might as well play on because it is only the exchange at the moment. Uh, and he's coming in with more powerful moves here look at this he's got this one horrendous only defensive try i can see uh, and well i mean i'm tempted to resign guys but i probably should play a little bit more probably should do a little bit more at the moment and 
just in case you never know when you're losing you can just grab a pawn that's probably losing because it doesn't make any difference right it doesn't make any difference so i can just grab that pawn this might be very strong okay uh now he's got a lot of good moves his rook's coming all the way in and can we do anything about that i can give him a check but he keep fighting let's keep fighting a little bit get rid of that pawn now obviously horrible still but somehow oh he's got knight takes here he's got all the tactics this guy centralize why not gotta try and eliminate as many of these guys as i possibly can and gain some half chances i say that very very slowly and when i say half chances it really is only half chances here um i mean i'm hoping i can do something to his king but i, I can't see how here uh but my position's my position is kind of unfortunate because it's not bad enough to resign but i think i know the way it's going <laughs> okay now i wanted to get this one in can we do that now let's try to do it now anyway like i say you can take more risks when the only thing going for me is a good bit of centralization but as soon as his knight starts to come back it's over and he's and he's just played this now and you can now check me and another exchange comes off do i resign now oh, getting more tempted to resign by the second here now now that these guys are coming off we made we made a gallant fight from what really was a terrible terribly lost position uh from the opening and we can fight on a little bit more maybe i wish i wasn't if i wasn't so much material down i'd be like okay you can fight on but i'm so much material down it's not much fun is it okay let's resign oh let's have a, yeah no point i can't flag him because my opening was just horrible there so we'll put it on the computer and just have a look how how things went so wrong how many rounds we had now how many rounds we had we had round seven so um what we got eight nine ten eleven we got four rounds left we could still get eight points so not quite rage quit territory yet but look at the opening the opening was a disaster i don't want to fall into that again so we'll have a look see how we can avoid we can avoid um getting into trouble in the openings there it's very slow today isn't it the uh um game review how many rounds do we have okay so the next round evaluating position come on might need to reload yourself a little bit um it'll be very low accuracy this one very bad play from me um but look it just went so bad so around here this is all right but i played some horrible moves now f4 it says it is an accuracy i don't know about that it seems like a good move to me but maybe i should just be i just started playing some very strange ideas like e5 is just horrible i should not be playing e5 here i can't i, I my rule is when they go f4 you shouldn't go for a hippo because this this is a very strong setup i only go for a hippo when the knight's in front of the pawn but i should just be bringing my knight out why am i just not bringing my knight out and then start attack the center like this so i can castle it's crazy absolutely crazy so i played knight d7 maybe this is all right but then after this i've got to bring my knight out why did i play this horrible move so i'm assuming the best move is this one yeah i just play this and this is actually just a, a fine okay position he plays his bishop here I and mean, i still prefer i have to say i still prefer white so actually i don't know if i've got the right plan here 
So what should I be doing? Bishop b7 here. I think knight f6 straight away makes more sense. Now this one I'm okay with because I, I, I think he's overextended. I think this is a more dangerous move for me. And now c5. Yeah, this is what I should be doing. I played a little bit too passively trying to get the hippo again when I should be playing like this. And this is a good lesson. I need to not go for the e5 break, but this c5 break should give me plenty of counterplay. I can even go c4 and try to take here and I can get a kind of Sicilian position now. If he tries to go here, well, I can just castle and this is going to be broken up with a move e6. I actually quite like Black's position in, uh, in, in these kind of things. The hippo is not... This is not a hippo, by the way. This is anything but a hippo. This is a perk opening or a modern opening. Uh, okay, we're in with another game. Let's let's try let's let's try e4. What should we play against the French? Let's go for a wing gambit, shall we? Um, the hippo is actually, I think, as you see, for a couple of it, quite an aggressive opening. But the perk, if you play the perk or the modern badly, you can get in a lot of trouble. You can get in a lot of trouble quickly, and that's what happened there. I played the wrong pawn break. This is a very good. This is a very good way of playing against uh, what I'm doing here, actually. That's annoying. Annoying that she knows what to do. Do you go here now? I can't remember the... This is not taking my sacrifice. I'm still going to try to hit this one. And, okay, let's go here. Still trying to get some pressure against the central pawns. But now even this move comes alive. Okay, I'm going to castle. She wants to take that pawn. I'm hoping... I get some counterplay because I'm castled and it's going to take her one, two, three moves to castle. So she takes a different pawn, fair enough. And I don't want to give this bishop up and allow her to have that bishop unless I'm taking uh, here immediately. And I think actually I am. So as long as I can get rid of this light square bishop quickly, I'm all right. Otherwise, this is nasty pressure. My king position is safer, but. A little bit of problem with these guys. Where do they come to? I need to get all the pieces working here. Yeah, I'll be playing the black line next time, I'm sure. The black line deserves a little outing, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm going to go here. I want to get rid of this pawn so I can develop my other knight. This is not running away anywhere, so we can keep that as an option. And this would be a normal move as well. Okay, now I have no choice because there is an idea. So let's take that one and i've got to get rid of that pawn so my pieces can come out okay now here castles strange position let's go for this i was wondering last move if i could have played rook a3 and after takes bishop takes but i think i'm just that is just completely balmy and shouldn't be thinking of such things so I'm only attacking with my queen. So let's try and maybe bring a swinger in. Not sure I trust this. Not sure how much I trust. Okay. Well, saying A, we might as well go B. Do we trust this? L swinger Rooney. <laughs> I mean, it looks quite a unique way to attack. She, I mean, you know, fair. Okay, she's going to bring a bishop back, but that's kind of like... Okay, maybe I even bring it over here, or which which way do we go? Got to get my knight in the game. My knight come now in the game. Getting confused here. H4, if in doubt, don't you always push the H-pawn? Yeah, if in doubt, just push the H-pawn. Because I'm thinking maybe my king needs an escape square. What a weird position. Very unique, messy position. Okay, now I wanted to bring my knight here. That was my thinking. Because her bishop, I was thinking, could be a good defender when it comes back to this square. So actually I'm trying to get rid of one of her defensive pieces, but I might be over thinking this position. And this one, just g6. 
and I need to keep my bishop. This is looking a little bit bad for me because this is still quite scary. Okay, we have to keep the bishop. We're gonna to have to rely on everything over here. And this is where I wanted to have this square for my king. Well, we have to keep going, all right? I don't see anything else. But this is... Something I'm concerned about, obviously, but can I get to her king first? Um, now, bishop here, the check comes in and it's not good. So I think I'm a little bit slow. A little bit slow. And she's also got this way back. Uh, don't see it, guys. I don't see what I'm doing here. I have to go for an H file attack, maybe have to go for the h file attack but she just comes back here with the queen it's not working i need to therefore play this first but this is desperate now this is not this is not working at all she's called my bluff i've gone a little bit overboard here another good move i need to just but i'm just throwing everything around but i think i went a little bit a little bit too much in this game but you still has to be a little bit careful still has to be a little bit careful here now i'm ready now i'm ready also ready to take on g6 i've got you know okay good counter-attacking move there <laughs> i have to try this one i kind of like you know it really doesn't matter how many pieces I'm down now, does it? It's kind of irrelevant. It, it, you know, but this is just absolute baloney, I think. Absolute baloney, surely. But I'm, you know, is it baloney? <laughs> Stupid position. I've got, you know, I've got some threat still. How, how, how rubbish is this position? I feel probably very rubbish, right? feel like don't we don't believe this do we we can't believe this is plus possible what i'm doing here it's not possible I'm low on time okay wow and, and she's doing some great counter-attacking moves as well so she's playing very good very good chess and something like this will force me to resign she's found it well done Oh, I can't resign. I meant to resign, sorry. Well played. Well, I went a little bit over the top. I'm actually, there's actually quite a long break now. I've gone, I'm on 50%. Um, I'm going to do my normal rage quit so I can have the rest of my evening. Still feeling a bit tired. That's my excuse. I uh, had some fun games, but missed opportunities. Struggling a little bit with the black pieces at times there in the opening. But at least some very exciting games. We're going to finish on a solid, a solid um 50 percent. so yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna withdraw because uh they, they have a long break now for too long for me i'm gonna go and eat some dinner and i enjoyed some of those games anyway so thank you all for tuning in uh, i'll just withdraw let's do that and i hope you all have a good rest of the night let's give someone a raid shall we and one of these days i've got to just play boring chess avoid avoid all this chaotic craziness that happens um we don't always enjoy craziness do we so who are we gonna raid let's just have a look okay i think it's only fair to raid my opponent who drew with me in the first round um because i like raiding some of the smaller smaller uh streamers and i say smaller streamers she really needs to this is a horrible she Basically, Alexandra has made her Twitch name a whole name. But imagine if you're a follower and you're trying to find someone and you have to type out all of this to find them. She needs to just make her name a little bit like shorter. Anyway, thanks everyone. Cheers. And have a good time. Until next time. Bye for now.